People talk about how abortion is ending another life, is ending a child's unborn life. And no, it's not. It's terminating a pregnancy and not killing anyone. You're not allowing a fetus which you created in your body uh, to develop into a baby which you cannot, for whatever reason, take care of. For what unknown reason that you're getting an abortion for. It is a process which needs to be legal in America. And it's just another way of medically dealing with something which is causing problems for you, as well as potentially harming you. That's what abortion really is. Because if you make something, if you make this completely illegal, you would have back alley abortions, you would have black market abortions, and that's dangerous, and it's deadly for the person who's getting the abortion. Would you rather make it illegal or make it even deadlier than it is now, or make it safe, sanitized, and healthy? Uh, which it is right now, legal in uh, many places, but not all throughout the United States. I personally would like to have it legalized. They said, would you ever murder a child and why are you murdering a fetus? Why are you killing another life? And it is illegal to murder someone uh, because it's infringing the rights upon somebody else by ending their life and their rights. But a fetus is, however, not a person. It's not within the first 20 weeks anyway. In general, it's in general anyway, it varies upon the development of the fetus. Making the choice that of an abortion is taking responsibility. It's not just like, I'm going to get an abortion just to get an abortion because I don't want the child. Because people who do that are just fucked up. To me anyway. I view abortion as only if needed in a life-threatening situation or if by rape. That's it really. Then there are other people who talk about uh, the unborn child's choices. They didn't have the choice in the matter. Well, something that isn't alive cannot have a choice. Something that really technically isn't living doesn't have a choice. Oh sure, the cells in a way are living, but not living as in us. Not It's not sentient, it's just a group of cells. Uh, cancer is living, but you don't see having a choice, in, you don't see them having a choice in you killing them with chemotherapy and such, do you? No. The people who say this don't understand how this works. The young boy child hasn't developed the capacity to make choices. Again, it is not sentient. It's just a group of cells. A lump of unidentifiable uh, cells. Like I said, it's just a cup of cells. It's not a child at all. An embryo is a clump of undifferentiated cells. There are no neurons and no neural activity, so it is impossible for the fetus to make a choice. It is impossible for it to be sentient or living, really. No synapses. No nerve endings, no nothing of that sort. If you study neurology and the neurology of a fetus and the, the development, the, the developmental process of a fetus from conception to birth, you could actually see this. Here's a lovely quote by Angel Delgard, who is the reason why I'm making this uh, rant, this abortion rant, which I don't know if it's really a rant if I have it all scripted right here, but here's the quote. Thousands of people will know your habits and routines. They know where you shop, who your friends are, what you drive, where you live. You will be checking under your car every day because maybe today is a day someone places an explosive under it. Again, this is Angel Dogard, an anti-abortionist and an anti-abortionist activist in Kansas. Isn't that lovely? Using threats of violence to change laws and legislations to get what you want. What is that called? When you use such threats and a violence to get what you want. It's like a terroristic type thing. What is it called? Oh right, terrorism. Terrorism is what you use to get what you want. You use terror, fear, and threats of violence to pass laws and legislations to get what you want. But hey, these domestic terrorists don't get go to prison or anything, no. They'll just get a free ride. People are mocking them. People are ridicule them. But they won't go to jail. While well, people who just make pure pranks on the internet or something will get some time in jail, months to use in jail for making a non-threatening threat. That isn't really a threat. It's just a joke online anyway. But these domestic terrorists who are actually doing pretty damn damage to this country by either actually killing people. Not I'm not saying Angel Dear God has killed anyone for this, but there are people who have taken this all the way to the point where they've killed abortionists and doctors. That's America for you.